Hi everyone. Today I'm going to read you a story with such beautiful pictures. It's a day where we appreciate art. So I'm going to read you this story that's called The Dog That Ate the World by Sandra Diekman. And I chose this story today because I really like the art in it. There are a lot of cool mushrooms and forest animals. And it's about a dog that ate the world. Do you think Theo ate the world? I don't know. Let's find out what happens in the book. Oh, look at all these beautiful mushrooms. Look at that one. That one's a chanterelle. You can eat that one. Oh, uh oh. I see some dog footprints in the forest. Down in the valley, bird sat with bird. Bear fished with bear. Bear's fishing with bear. And fox played his fiddle to the foxes. The sound of their play and their laughter drifted peacefully through the trees. Do you see them all? There's the foxes. The bears are over there. Until one day, the dog appeared. Oh, what's he going to do? He took what he wanted and drank however much he pleased. Oh, look, he's eating all of the valley and drinking all of the creek. The more he ate, the bigger he became. So the fox stepped forward to play him a song to soothe his terrible hunger. Look at how big he is. And the fox is trying to play him a song. It says, don't eat any more, dog. You're so big already. The dog swallowed him whole. But the fox played on. His lovely song traveled to the outside. Do you see the fox? He's inside of the dog. And the dog is sleeping and the music is traveling all the way outside. And the bunny can hear. So three brave bunnies decided to free the fox. The dog swallowed them too. Oh no, look at inside of that dog's belly. Oh, look at all those animals. He's getting so big. Enough was enough. Everyone agreed. Together they would restore the peace. Stop! They're all yelling, stop. Look, this is the dog. And you see, what's he turning into? He's turning into their whole valley in the world. Because he's eating it all up, huh? But talking to him, tricking him, tiring him out did not change a thing. The dog swallowed them all. There's inside of his belly. Oh, look at all the mushrooms. There's a duck. With nowhere else to go, the animals lit a light. Together they talked, they worked, and hope began to blossom in every heart. Look it. They're making life okay inside of the dog's belly. Do you see? They're making it beautiful. They're, the birds made art inside his belly and the bunnies are planting a garden. So even though they're stuck inside of a dog's belly, they're making it their world and they're making it beautiful and happy and peaceful. Life went on. The greedy dog still ate and ate. Look at inside of him. But look, don't the animals look happy? The fox is playing his fiddle. But when he finally swallowed the sun in the sky, there was nothing left to take. He had eaten his whole world. Wall. Look at the world outside is all dark now because there's nothing left. The dog ate it all. He even ate the sun. Look how happy that makes everything inside of his body. What's happening inside of his body? <gasps> Their world was now brighter and stronger than ever before. In the 
and there was just no place for someone as greedy as the dog. Look at how happy they are. They have the sun now inside of his belly. And they're all working together and they're making a big, nice new community. And it's so much fun. Huh, Theo, doesn't that look like fun? You don't think so? You're not greedy like the dog. Down in the valley, the wind whistled peacefully through the trees again. Wherever we are together, we are home, they all sang while the fox played his song. Look, there's even a rainbow. This is like the forest and the rainbow room meeting. And it's like one. It's like our school, huh? They made a new happy world inside of the dog. And they all are working together. Look at all the pretty mushrooms. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed that book. That book is about even if things sometimes seem a little bit upset, setting, right? Like you're inside of a dog's belly. You can make the best of it, right? You can garden, you can do art, you can sing songs, you can have so much fun and you can work together with your families and soon we'll be able to see each other again. Right, Theo? See, yeah. All right. Bye, friends.